Hey guys, it's Teeksy here and welcome back to my How to Improve at Demolition series here on Black Ops Cold War today for episode 6 where we're going to be doing a map breakdown of slums. As always guys, timestamps down in the description below if there's anything in particular you want to jump to. But yeah, let's jump straight into the breakdown. Okay guys, so here we are on the map slums. Again, unfortunately the search and destroy bomb sites didn't quite match up. I think one did and one didn't. So I'm just going to quickly show you where the bomb sites are for demolition. So the A bomb site is located in this building here guys, just in the middle of the room. And the B bomb site is located just over here um, behind this kind of wall, shack, whatever you want to call it, um, sort of building just here. So we're going to start off, guys, as if you were the attacking team, which is when you spawn all the way back there. So slums, very similar to Yamantau, has got some crazy, crazy, crazy spawns, but it can be very, very difficult to play your life. But the dif difference with slums is you don't want to get as aggressive. So the main sort of spawn points for the defending team is they can literally spawn anywhere back here um, in here and this is the main kind of place where the game wants to spawn them um, and they can also spawn in this corner sort of over here so ideally you want them to be spawning either in this corner or over here but on this map a lot of the time people do get over aggressive and when people get over aggressive the defending team can spawn out a little bit like here um, and also spawn up as far as um, here so as you can imagine if you get aggressive uh, and you were like really pushed up in the spawn and suddenly they start spawning out a little bit like Yamantau you can end up with players behind you and in front of you um, and that doesn't really work so the, the best kind of places you want to play on this side of the map guys is you want to, you can push up as far as here if you want and you can play the on these sort of on this sort of skip um, you can sort of see players that spawn and see them running out sometimes they push around this angle um, you just have to be aware if any of your team are pushing up on that spawn point over there they could spawn in that corner while you're here so you just want to be ready you want to be sort of uh, just be aware of that um, and also be aware if people are getting massively aggressive that they could spawn behind you you just got to be aware of that um, you can kind of wrap back around here you can then play on this kind of head glitch here and, and kill anybody who's coming off spawn again you could peek this corner kill anybody um, you've got this police car that you can use as well. Um, you've got a nice little off angle here where you can sometimes pick players as they're running kind of past you, especially if they're running to the B-bomb site. Um, and also the same thing from in here. You can play this off angle and pick anybody that's running either to the A-bomb site or trying to run through mid to, to go to either A or B. Um, what you do have to be aware of though on this side of the map, guys, is the defending team, when they spawn in, um, they do have the opportunity and the possibility to jump up on here and they can get a nice little head glitch. You just have to be a little bit careful of that. I think they can jump on here as well. Not as powerful this one. Um, obviously, if they, well, if they crouch down it is, but I, I don't see too many people play this, but uh, you do see a lot of players jump up on here. But apart from that, guys, there isn't really too much to this side of the map but you know you just want to let them a bit like what we did on apocalypse is let them come to you you know like on apocalypse we wanted them to keep spawning back temple you want them to keep spawning back there you want them to spawn back in that corner so make sure that you're kind of you know not pushing up too high the only thing i could say is sometimes you can if you want to push up on this skip here because nine times out of ten you are then blocking this spawn point and providing nobody's pushed like right up in there they will still spawn in there and you can get some real real good kills as they're as they're kind of running off spawn uh, but I'll run some clips now and we'll run through a few uh, you know, clips of me spawning on this side of the map just to kind of show kind of how it works. So in this first clip here guys I've actually picked up this M60 class setup uh, off the floor because I think I ran out of ammo with the gun I was using and I also get the harp up here but I just kind of wanted to, to include this clip because with the harp you can kind of get an idea of what I mean about how they keep spawning in that back corner as long as you don't get aggressive but also just how I'm not really doing anything over aggressive myself you know I'm just allowing them to, to you know, come to me I'm not getting you know not using the harp and just going absolutely crazy i'm just taking it easy taking my time and just just picking up easy kills and that's all you want to do like you can see they're all just going to keep spawning at the back there obviously they're going to keep running to the bomb site that's um you know not been planted yet the one they want to defend and like you see guys i'm just not not doing anything crazy i'm just you know obviously i know i've got the harp up which helps but yeah just not getting overly aggressive and uh yeah just 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 chilling and letting them come to me in this clip here guys this is just uh, again another one this one's without the heart but this is just me finishing up a nuke kill streak and just kind of showing you here that even when you get aggressive on this uh this kind of skip here on the right you know you can still get kills you know they're still spawning back there um you know and like i say just again not not pushing any further than you know that i need to and just yeah just letting letting them come to me like i said i've just called the nuke in there but even when I push up here on this this um, this skip here, I'll get one or two kills here before the nuke comes in. And like you can see, they still keep spawning there. 
So um, yeah, like I say, don't get over aggressive. You don't have to do too much. Just keep letting them come to you and keep picking up those kills. Okay guys, so we're now gonna do it as if we were the defending team on some. So with being the defending team, you wanna try and push the attackers back the best you can. Cause I find on this map, when you're the attacking team, it can be very, very easy to kind of get pushed back. So the attackers can spawn up as far as kind of in um, here. And they can also do the same thing on the other side of the spawn where they can spawn sort of um, sort of up as, as far as sort of uh, here. Uh, and then they can spawn sort of in here, out here, um, and they can spawn sort of back, uh, back here. So again, on this side of the map, guys, you really want them. You don't want them spawning kind of past this line. Imagine there's like an invisible line going from that wall directly across to that wall. You kind of want them spawning in this kind of third almost of the map because you know if they're spawning like back there back sort of anywhere behind this line you can play sort of this head glitch here you can you know catch players that come to spawn and then you can peek people on this angle here um you can always wrap back wrap through here if you want come through here and then you can pick this angle up and spawn kill anybody spawning there you can look through this van if you want to get an angle you've got a nice head glitch from back here that you can use you can obviously keep picking players up if they're running through this building, but you can also get pushed up, kind of play a little bit of an off angle here. And again, like this on this side of the map, I think the best thing to do is to let them come to you. Because if you start, what a lot of people do is they end up pushing right up and getting really aggressive, which then spawns the other players or the attacking players behind you, like along here, or obviously vice versa on the other side of the map. And not only does that then mean you can have players behind you, but if three or four players spawn sort of here, and then they just decide to ignore anybody who's spawn killing them. They can run out, get the bomb down, and then suddenly, like, it just messes the whole map control up that your team has got. So ideally, on this side of the map, guys, you want to be, um, you know, not too aggressive. Like, let them come to you again. Like I say, you can play on this head glitch. You can play here as well if you want. And just, just let them come to you and frustrate them. Hold them back. Keep them frustrated. The more frustrated they get, the more likely they are to just keep running at you, handing you kills. And, and like I say, you know, the less aggressive you are, on this map uh, works both sides is the better let them come to you because if not they'll start spawning behind you spawning out which even means they're going to shoot you in the back or they're going to run out plant some bombs and then you know map control is lost and you have to go back you know defuse some bombs get some kills and reset the spawn sort of thing so hopefully that kind of makes sense guys but we'll run through some clips on this side of the map now as well um, so you can kind of see all of that in action Okay guys, so this first clip here is basically a clip of me spawn killing from the left side of the map of a sniper. And I just wanted to kind of show you this because in this clip, I'm the only player pushed up in the spawn. So they just keep spawning at the back of the map. And I just want to show you how easy it is here. Like, well, not so much easy, but just how players keep running out. And I just keep picking them up. I mean, this is one of my better sniping clips. I mean, I don't actually miss a shot. But this kind of shows, you know, any gun you're using here, you just want to keep them spawning back there. Keep them spawning in the same position and it's just really easy just keep picking them up as they come out of spawn you know they're not spawning out luckily because i'm the only player pushed up and yeah you just pick up some some easy kills and can go on some pretty big streaks quite easily so this next clip here guys is more sort of spawn killing from the the kind of right side of the map but kind of doing the same thing you know i've got a harp up so you can kind of see how it's working but again just not getting overly aggressive um you know playing off angles not pushing up too far using head glitches lines of sight to just pick the players up quite easily and again you know just not doing too much that's that's all you want to do on this this map is just kind of let it all unfold let, let them come to you and um yeah as you can see it's just you know not you know i'm constantly kind of moving backwards and forwards you know i'm not always just pushing up and getting aggressive i'm you know like here wrapping now to the left side to kind of reposition and then i do end up wrapping i think back all the way around again and, and coming back through right side and and that's all you really want to do is just kind of keep moving never never push up too far um and yeah, literally, like, I, I don't want to make it sound like it's really easy, but there isn't really too much else that, that you can do. Just kind of, like you say, just just keep letting them come to you and um, yeah, you'll, you'll just start picking up big streaks without really having to do too much. Okay, guys, that is going to do it for today's How to Improve Demolition on Slums video, guys. I hope you found today's video useful. If you did, please do hit the like button down below. And if you are brand new around here and want to find your way back for more, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, guys, I hope everyone has a great day and I'll catch you all in the next one.